Health has just been published, Hormones in Your Health, The Smart Woman's Guide to Hormonal and Alternative Therapies for Menopause. In the new book, you claim that contrary to current recommendations, HRT is safe for long-term use and highly beneficial as long as you do it right. Tell us why you think hormones are so great. Because combined with a healthy lifestyle, they will affect in a positive way your teeth, your nose, your eyes, your brain, your bones, your blood vessels, your sexual life, your capa capacity to prevent incontinence. They actually do protect, if they're properly prescribed and properly taken, every body system that has ever been studied. They're extraordinary. Women's bodies are designed to function while we live and are vibrant with estrogen and progesterone in a sequential process. Why are many doctors still so wary of hormones? And is there truth to the breast cancer connection to hormone replacement therapy? Yes, there is truth to that. Certain breast cancers and certain hormones go together. Certain hormonal regimens seem to reduce that risk of breast cancer. Other hormone regimens seem to increase the risk of breast cancer. The Women's Health Initiative was a major study that shook up the whole world about oh, five or six years ago. It's when I started writing this eighth book because its data, which were very interesting and very valuable, were not interpreted correctly. They were misunderstood. A particular regimen of conjugated equine estrogen, which is a horse urine extract, was combined with a particular progestin, which is medroxyprogesterone acetate. And those two hormones together were taken every single day in women who were about, on average, 17 years postmenopausal had not been using hormones, and in that group, that regimen caused an extra eight cases of breast cancer for every 10,000 women. That was real. It was very tiny. It was under one half of 1%. But it was so contrary to what was perceived at the time that it shook up the medical establishment. It, in retrospect, and from hindsight, We've learned a great deal about that study and that regimen and other studies and other regimens, all of which combined to convince me that appropriately dosed hormonal regimens are marvelous for women, and we need to learn which ones to say no thank you to if they are prescribed. So I disagree with the current recommendation of hormone therapy for as low a dose as possible for as short a time as possible because it's very clear from the literature, from the enormous body of 50 years of scientific literature that have been published, that women who use hormones for many years and use them appropriately live longer than women who do not use hormones, and they live better. They have a lower likelihood of cardiovascular disease if they are using a good hormonal regimen. In the United States, 25 women for every 100,000 die of breast cancer. Eight times as many die of cardiovascular disease. So the real monster in the closet for women to be aware of when they're healthy and they're in their 40s and their early 50s is cardiovascular disease. Your book offers so much more on health over 40 in addition to HRT. How else do you advise women to stay healthy? Hormonal regimens are fantastic, particularly when they're combined with healthy lifestyles, like understanding which foods that we put in our body make us vigorous, vibrant, happy, make our moods good. There is also exercise, a regular program of fitness where we are within every single day moving about vigorously for at least 30 minutes a day has a profound benefit on the well-being and the duration of our life. Smoking, there is another behavior. Many, of, many women are addicted to tobacco. It's the biggest cause of death and disease of anything that a person can do. There's almost no point in uh, caring about hormones if you don't stop smoking. Why is your book essential reading for women over 35? If you look at what's happened to healthcare in America in the last few years, you'll know that your doctor is probably forced to see more patients per hour, more patients per day, and earning less money per patient so physicians are caught in a terrible time bind. They come home exhausted. I don't see patients. I get to study. 
I studied about 3,000 papers in order to write this book. And so I'm excited to be able to offer women and their physicians a state-of-the-art, understandable translation. What I'm interested in is helping women learn through their own dignity that they can learn the information, they can get it from their doctors, they can work with their physician and have a good regimen to help them live well and long. So is it true that you are 65 years old? No, I'm not 65, I'm 64 and a half. Na, 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 na.